Hello friends. In a previous class, we have dealt about iodine and uh, I mean we have dealt about antithyroid drugs. In this class, let us deal with iodine and iodides. Uh, so the mechanism of action of this iodine and iodides is not much clear, but there are many hypotheses. Not clear, but the main hypothesis um, is excess iodine or increased iodide. Basically, whenever we administer iodine, iodine in intestine, it is absorbed as iodine, and this iodine inhibits sodium. I mean, this iodine normally it converts into iodine. It's converted iodide is converted into iodine in the thyroid. This is what normally happens, but if uh, iodine uh, given in excess, then increase iodine. So this increases its iodide conversion. This iodine, iodide as it is very much increased, this inhibits sodium iodine symporter. Right, a uh, symporter expression. So thus, this leads to decreased iodine intake into cells. Right. Along with this, iodine also decreases TSH. And cyclic AMP induced thyroid stimulation if it's excess. This also interferes because if it's excess, it also interferes with iodination of tyrosine. And tyrosin, tyros, tyrosyl and tyronyl residues of thyroglobulin. So it interferes with iodination of tyrosyl or tyrosin, tyronyl residues of thyroglob, thyroglobulin. So thus decreasing. T3 or T4 synthesis. This effect is called as Wolf Chekhov effect. Yes, so what are the uses of this iodine or iodides? The uses of these iodine or iodide one is in preoperative preparation that is in uh, thyroidectomy for Graves disease this iodine is mostly given 10 days before the surgery uh, so that it itself this iodine itself lowers the thyroid status and the same bringing it to you thyroidism so that it is easier for doing a surgery and the second one is in thyroid storm which is an emergency situation and it is necessary for controlling it faster. And the third one is profile axis of endemic goiter. And the fourth one is usage of anti as antiseptic because it is uh, used in has tincture iodine or in bithidine which is used for surgeries even then uh, we use this uh, iodine or povidine iodine here it is used as antiseptic uh, being it a disinfectant what are the adverse effects or side effects of iodine side effects of iodine uh, they include Two reactions one is acute reaction and the other is chronic reaction in acute reaction 
uh, only it occurs only in individuals who are sensitive to iodine so what are the manifestations manifestations include uh, swelling of eyes swelling of uh, lips eyelids there is swelling of lips eyelids and there is angioedema of lar uh, larynx there may be fever joint pain petechial hemorrhages or there may be thrombocytopenia or lymphadenopathy the only the the the, the only uh, treatment for this is stop exposure to iodine this is the first step out of side effect the second one is chronic overdose which is called as iodism here we see uh, inflammation of mucous membranes salivation there is rhinorrhea sneezing is seen lacrimation is seen swelling of eyelids burning sensation of mouth headache rashes and gi symptoms are seen so these symptoms also regress on stopping the iodine inject injection so long term if you use they may cause hypothyroidism and goiter so this acute may occur in adolescents and if it's given to pregnant women even it is contraindicated in pregnant women because it may result in fetal goiter or hypothyroidism so it is contraindicated in pregnant women so in this class we have discussed about the iodine iodides their mechanism of actions uses contraindications and the side effects or adverse effects of iodine in our next class we would discuss about radioactive iodide